क्लास एट्थ चैप्टर टू माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स द ऑर्गेनिजम दैट कैन ओनली बी सीन थ्रू माइक्रोस्कोप आर नोन एज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और माइक्रोब्स दे आर फाइव टाइप ऑफ माइक्रोब्स फर्स्ट इज बैक्टीरिया सेकेंड इज एलगी थर्ड इज प्रोटोजोवा फोर्थ इज फंगाई एंड फिफ्थ आर वायरसेज सो हियर आर सम कॉमन फीचर्स ऑफ माइक्रोब्स फर्स्ट इज दैट दे आर हार्ड एंड फाउंड इन एक्सट्रीम इन्वायरमेंट सेकेंड इज दैट दे आर कैपेबल ऑफ फॉर्मिंग a tough cell around them that is called cyst to protect them from outside third is most of the microorganisms can reproduce fourth is that maximum microorganisms are harmful so let's talk about a type of microorganisms which are bacteria bacteria are most simple unicellular microbes they were discovered by anton van leeuwenhoek the size of bacteria are from 0.5 2.5 nanometers they exist almost everywhere bacteria have a cell wall called cytoplasm nutrition type of nutrition bacteria get all type of nutrition autotrophic heterotrophic saprotrophic all reproduction bacteria reproduce mainly through binary fission advantages of bacteria lactobacillus a bacteria promotes formation of curd second bacteria makes meat soft third bacteria also decompose wastes and let's come to disadvantage of bacteria bacteria pollutes water bacteria cause food poisoning bacteria cause so many diseases and let's move to another type of microorganisms which are fungi fungi are not just non green plants which do not have chlorophyll there are three type of fungi yeast mildews and molds advantages of fungi yeast are fungi used for making wine and alcohol second mushroom a fungi is eaten directly through humans third many fungi are used to make medicine let's come to disadvantages of fungi there are just three disadvantages of fungi first is they cause skin diseases second is they cause diseases in plant and third is they spoil our food let's move to another type of microorganisms which are protozoans protozoa the word is made of two words first is proto and second is zoan proto means for prim- primitive and zoans means for animals so protozoans are a kind of primitive animals and these are also called most primitive animals of the world advantages of protozoa protozoans serve as food for many aquatic animal and yes there is one fun fact protozoans are extremely found in aquatic regions and let's come to second protozoans are ultimate decomposers because they decompose the other decomposers like bacteria and fungi Pro- protozoans help some organisms in their digestion let's come to disadvantage of protozoa protozoa causes diarrhea it also causes amoebic dysentery and it also causes a frequent sleep sickness Let's come to another category of microorganisms organisms which are viruses viruses are just uh, ultra microscopic organisms which we cannot classify that they are living or non living because they act as both so here are some features by you can guess what are viruses viruses act as a non living if they are they are at outside of any body and viruses act as living organisms if they are inside of any other organism so like we studied advantage and disadvantage of all the micro uh, microbes earlier but viruses are a kind of microbes which have no advantages for us humans but disadvantages are so much so some disadvantages of uh, viruses are that they can cause many diseases like aids covid 19 smallpox cowpox etc etc 
viruses can not reproduce by themselves this proves that viruses are non living but viruses multiply themselves this proves that they are living so it is a very controversial thing that are viruses living or non living viruses have rna that proves they are living viruses act as non living or they can be eaten by someone without pain it is just non living so it is not easy to classify that viruses are living or non living thank you that's all